Now let's look at the ATSA in simple windows. So the ATSA adds to a simple program, again, just like any other Ethernet device. Uh, choose a vacant IP ID in your program, and then you drop in the ATSA symbol. I see some analog lines on the routing symbol. Do these work just like the DM switch symbol? Yes, exactly. So here a value of 0D through 16D will select the source to switch to for that zone. The new concept to know here, though, is how to route an NAX or AES67 stream. That would use a value of 17D here on this symbol, and then must be used in conjunction with the multicast address or session name serial joins from the NAX-RX symbol associated with the zone that you're routing to. Okay, that covers the RX side. Where do I set a multicast address, though? So unlike Crustron Home, that's going to need to be set manually for a simple program, either in the web UI for the ATSA or on the NAX-TX symbol in programming. I've used the Media Player Smart Object before. Is it compatible with the NAX? Yep, you can use the Media Player Smart Object, or you can use the player symbol with the control joins, or there's an API available as well if you wish to go either of those routes. And lastly, where can I learn more? As always, you can go to Crestron.com. Thank you, Tom. So now we have taken a brief look at how to integrate a DM NAX 8ZSA into Crestron Home and Simple Windows. Please stay tuned for more videos from CTI.